Ah. So this is the part that most don't get to see. Right. This is how you make a, a cave run. That will scare me at night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just like knowing this is here, you know. If somebody came in the other side, they could get us. The hills, man. <laughs> I've seen too many scary movies. Way too many. Ooh, yeah. Well, I'll let you go ahead. This is crazy. I feel like this is in uh, Indiana. Are we in Indiana Jones? <laughs> Seriously. So, so this, what, so what, this is, it looks like the catacombs. It, it is. This yeah. is the natural, natural part of the cave. Uh, of course, the uh, spring originating deep within, that supplies all the water for the cave. Mm -hmm. uh, all your drinking, showering, washing, everything like that is supplied by a great spring originating deep, wow. deep within this cavern. And uh, it goes through a uh, filtration system. We've got one of the best. You know, you've got particulate, you've got reverse uh, osmosis, and then you've got UV. Um, but what it provides is some delicious water. Uh, you know, this section of the cave, uh, we actually um, had a, uh, a biologist come in, who specializes in caves, and found a, a small springtail. It's a cave-dwelling insect not found anywhere else. Uh, so we have a Beckham Cave uh, springtail uh, now at the Smithsonian. And uh, so, you know, it is, it only lives here. So, you know, when we say one of a kind, and then one of a kind, uh, this is what we have here.